Libras, welcome. It's Dharma to do your weekly for you. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Cross Watchers, anybody. My readings tend to last from reading to reading as far as timing goes. And guides, angels, anyone from our tribe, from the highest good, please, with the best messages of upcoming events, please, for the week ahead for Libra. So this is the animal wisdom. Ooh, what do we have here? The cosmic egg. I heard this is mine. <laughs> and I mean it. Like, I really mean it. Whatever this egg is right here, this is this tie-dye, wonderful, whoa. And the way that this is, I almost feel like I need to stop making this swing first and foremost. I just saw 11-11. But look at how the snake is wrapped around that thing. I heard the word protection, protective. No matter which way this egg rolls, this, it's like um, <laughs> protective packaging, I guess. Like if you were to roll this egg around, no matter which way it would roll, it, it, this snake has it protected. And I heard a hiss when I looked up at that and it's like, try me, <laughs> try to get me off of this thing. It's mine. I love it. And we'll see what the egg is. It could be an idea. The cosmic egg is something that was, I feel like because this is the sign of ether here, it's like whatever this egg is was gifted to Libra in packaging. <laughs> it comes with bubble wrap, which is a snake. Now, what is the medicine of the snake? They shed layers, they shed lifetimes, but they also I just heard give an advantage <clears throat> and I don't know what that means and the earthworm oh my god they're doing the same thing do you see what I see they're doing the same thing this is the knowledge one person in this relationship is like this is a relationship if you want to get all the way my brain thinks, okay, this is, I'm seeing very clearly a relationship here. One person is totally spiritual, completely. Probably the person watching this because that's what spirit folk do. Okay, we watch tarot and shit. This one here, the earthworm, is totally grounded, completely grounded, except both party, because that's the sign of earth, right? And they're both snake-like creatures that have a long, long, long um, history of lives together, and it's a knowing. That's why they're both wrapped around it. It's almost like they don't even want other people to know how deep it is or to know about it at all. It just belongs to them, this gnosis. And... I just heard with this one, with the earthworm, I always talk about the fact that the earthworm is supposed to be the first, like, creature ever on Earth. Like, it's the oldest. Biologically speaking, right? But it's the, I think that this one feels like this relationship is the whole universe. It's spiritually led, whatever. This one feels like it's the... It's like they know they have, because I was saying they have like this gnosis. It's like they know that when they enter this, when they undo this and let this color spill out into the world, okay, it completely changes their life forever. They know that. And so... And so we're not together right now. It's everyone is just keeping it to themselves. So let's talk about the spiritual one first. Where's the fairies at? 
Welcome back, my friends. I put them away for a minute. They needed to breathe. <laughs> we were going heavy with the fairies for a while. This is the Brian Froud's Fairies Oracle. It's my first deck ever. I got it when I was 13, 14. Oh, my. So, okay. That is the Soul Shrinker. I mean, obviously, look at it. You can just... It's just nasty. I think that people might... That might be why the snake is like, I said, try me. They're going to protect this no matter what. It might even be that they're not going to let anybody change their mind about how they feel about this. Because the soul shrinker is trying to do just that. It's cruelty, malice, gossip. They want it gone. They don't want her to have that. I don't know why. Wow. Wow. There might even be three people that come up to you like, you need to let this go. And she's all... <laughs> fucking hiss. Get away from me and my egg right now because that is someone who's all like, like a freaking narcissist. And this one here is someone who is just a nervous wreck all the time, right? And this one here is just a shit talker. And they are like, give, give up the egg, give it up. <laughs> she's all, I mean, in her mind, she's all hissing, but she might look at her. She still has it in her hand. Come rip it out of my cold, dead, bare hands. I don't think so. Oh, that's awesome. She, this one here is spiritually guided to hold on to this. I don't know why but she's not letting it go there. It's her thing. It's alive within her only. And there's nothing. I feel like there's nothing anybody can do about it. Okay. So then moving over to the other party who also is holding the, oh, they're just in love. Okay. That is, uh, that's the element of love. Okay. <clears throat> the Lady of the Harvest. They're watching hard. They might have really, really blue eyes. They don't have to, though. This one is grieving because they think it's over. It's like they're what they might even be watching from afar as like these people approach. And they're just standing there like this is the I don't know. I don't want to say love of my life, but they're like they're watching this happen and like my I feel like my heart is ripping out of my chest, right? And they're like how am I going to stop this? Okay, this is the the gnome they're the ones that come in and break the patterns and the habits because the way that they're looking i mean it's like they are they're watching they can see it okay and they can also see every they it's like they are watching this could even be the egg could just be her you know it's her power it's her inner that's why i said it's alive within her the egg is something right and this person has it too they have the same light within them and they're watching these people like i don't know if it's like come at her or i can't re well what is it what do they want what are they doing they're trying to like shame her for i heard homewrecker They're just trying to like destroy her reputation in regards to who she absolutely loves. Right? And she's just saying they're like, I don't say whatever you want. I you I just got that um meme that I <laughs> it's uh 
Ian McGowan, I think is his name, and it, the meme says, when you know your truth and you stay on your ground, and it's a scene of him, and all these arrows are coming at him, and he just puts his arms out, like, come at me, and none of the arrows hit him, because she knows her truth. She does. This is the truth. <clears throat> it always was. And something like they, she's being blamed for something. And she's just like, blame away. What's meant to be will be. I, and I kind of feel like her attitude is like that. Don't get me wrong. If something, there's a reason why she has to hold it within. She's not there. They're not together. <clears throat> Well, not for long, right? And then you have communication. So what's this over here? Why does this masculine feel like it's over? See, look at them looking. It's because people know now. For I want to. I don't know what this is. Everybody knows. And now they're put. They're like coming in hot, and he's just over there looking like. I heard. I'm sorry. That's my friend. It feels like this person is getting ready to, I can feel boiling over here. Like there's so much grief over not being with this one in particular, this, they're swans. Look at how similar they all are. This is earth fire, or that's f fire, that's earth. This is ether, that's earth. Swans. Boom. They are making a plan. It, it feels like this big, like, all like this big climax, like all these things are, or like a build up, all these things are coming and they're coming in hot for this one, but, but this one is not it's almost like they're waiting for the, I don't know, they're not waiting for the last second. It's all, they are just, you know that scene on Frozen, okay, where Hans, uh, not Hans, the good one, Kristoff, drops her off at home and he's all, you need to be with Hans, okay, that's what you're supposed to be doing, and then like walks away, but then like, all this stuff starts to happen when he walks away <laughs> fucking Hans the bad guy is coming in hot to melt freaking Olaf you know what I'm talking about I mean you don't watch it okay it's adorable if you've seen it but that's kind of this moment it's what it feels like and then he gets a some kind of gnosis, like, there I am again with that word to turn around and look and they do not like what they see happening and so they make a plan to like put a stop to this somehow. So let's go to the extended and see. The link for that's going to be in the box below. And it will take you to my website, dharmajane.com. And don't forget to check us out every day during the week, usually for a live interactive tarot. And the other readings will be up soonish. Till next time, bye.